Hey guys, this is Carly Adette coming at you from Fitness Artist in Clifton Park. Just wanted to go over a few of my favorite band exercises. Easy to do at home, low impact, and super effective. So the first one is going to be our lateral step. You're going to hinge those hips back, chest stays up. You want to have your toes nice and even, and you're going to step out, stamping that foot down every single time. Beginners, I would recommend doing five to one side, and then stepping back with the opposite foot. If you're more advanced, you can challenge yourself to a long distance, going through three to four times per set. So the exercise is the lateral band walk. The reason I love it is because you can strengthen your glutes. You're also helping your squat pattern. So what you're doing is when you're hinging your hips and bringing your chest up, that's reinforcing that good movement pattern for your squat. So this just helps you to get used to moving evenly so that you're moving symmetrically. All right, next is gonna be leg lifts. So you're gonna get a slight bend in those knees and you're just gonna push it out. Challenging yourself to do 10 reps on each side before you switch it up. Three to four rounds and you'll feel those glutes. The reason I love our leg lifts, good for that weight bearing leg. You're getting a nice soft bend in that knee. So you're feeling the strength in that standing leg and then you're also helping to shape your glute and outer thigh. So every time you lift, you're gonna feel it right away. It's really effective, especially to get those nice curves. Next, we have diagonal step back. So you're gonna tap it back, alternating feet each time, challenging yourself to push it back as far as you can. You can time yourself for a full minute here. Go through three to four rounds. For the kickbacks, I do a little variation to add into your routine. It does get the heart rate up. Again, as you're moving, you're gonna feel those hamstrings. You're keeping that core engaged. And again, it's just a good thing to throw into your routine if you are doing a lot of static lifts, um, such as our bridges that I'll explain also. It just helps to bring that heart rate up and get you a little bit of cardio. Have our bear crawl. So what you're going to do is put that band right above your ankles. You want to stay nice and close to the ground, hips down. You're going to engage your core and you're going to step with opposite hand, opposite foot, nice and low. You want to keep that band straight the entire time to keep that engagement. You can challenge yourself to go backwards as well. So the bear crawl. It's really good for core stability and balance. You also have a little bit of a staggered stance, so you're really working on your overall movement pattern when you engage in the bear crawl. This is our clamshell exercise. This is really great for hip flexors and glutes. What you're gonna do is seal those heels together. You're gonna get a 90 degree bend on those knees and you're gonna open. You're gonna feel that right away with that resistance band and close. I would do 10 reps on each side, going through three to four sets. And again, you wanna anchor those hips and really push through that glute and strengthen those hip flexors. The reason the clamshell is great is because you can strengthen your glutes without a lot of impact. So your resistance is the band. So you can build that glute strength and also open up those hip flexors which are very common to atrophy, especially if you're used to sitting down a lot. So you get that mobility in your hips, that constant movement, and strengthening the glutes at the same time. So next is gonna be a bridge series. So you're gonna lay all the way back, pin those shoulders down. You're gonna get that nice separation between your knees so that you stay engaged with those adductors. And you're gonna push through the hips, and then come down. You're gonna squeeze the glutes, and you have a nice angle here from knees to shoulders. The challenge here would be to match the flares with your bridge. So it's gonna be one bridge up, and one flare out, and two flares out, and then three. 
and you would continue to go until you reach 10. The bridge is a great exercise because you can strengthen your glutes and hamstrings. You're also getting that hip hinge, which is really important for our functional movement. So you're pinning your shoulders back, you're getting even a little bit of core stability and trunk stability there because you're keeping completely static in your upper torso. And again, you really get that nice deep hip hinge with your hip flexors and then squeezing the glutes and hamstrings gives you that strength. All right, if you liked what you saw today, we'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our channel, tell us what you want to see. We'd love to make something for you. All right, see you soon.